Fire mission, orbital rail can. Fire mission, orbital laser. Request reinforcement. I caught a bit of a flu a couple of weeks back and with that newly found bit of extra time ended up playing Helldivers 2 just like pretty much everyone else and their democracy officer and playing on PC it got pretty obvious pretty quickly that calling in stratagems would be extremely cool to do with voice commands. So seeing as I already have a rather extensive voice attack profile for Arma, I figured it would be simple enough to just take what I learned from there to quickly put together a fairly feature rich one for hell diving. One that I would enjoy to play with. And so here we are. I'm calling it hell babbles and this is some of what it can do. If you are new to the whole voice command thing, what is really happening with programs like these is that they basically just push buttons for you. It can be a keyboard key press, mouse clicks, joystick actions and such. Voice attack in particular can do a lot more clever things in the background though which makes everything much more interesting. Now I have the full $10 version of voice attack which is required to run my profile but Helldivers 2 lends itself well to the free version in a way that still lets you get a very good experience. The last part of this video will get into all of that. For now though, let's look at the complete profile. As far as the game goes, the voice attack profile of course supports all current stratagems and those are divided into two phrasing categories. They are requests and fire missions. Which just means that everything that gets sent down to you for your character use, like weapons, packs or turrets are requests and everything that is fired from orbit or an eagle are called fire missions. You say one of those two before the stratagem that you want. It's like saying hey Google or Siri to a device before talking to it in order to keep it from reacting to everything you're talking about. Like outside of commands. I promise it's all very simple really. Let's look at a couple of examples like request supplies where request is the prefix of the command and supplies is the thing you're trying to get. It could also be stuff like no. request railgun. Or request auto cannon turret. Calling down a sentry. With the fire mission type we have things like fire mission eagle cluster in which fire mission is the prefix of the phrase and eagle cluster is one of the ways to say that you want the eagle cluster bomb. Bomb in this case can be omitted or used with the command you decide. Fire mission eagle cluster bomb. It's optional. So the same command can usually be said multiple ways which makes it easier to remember them while in the midst of utter mayhem. Though there really is nothing stopping you from changing these prefix keywords to whatever you like. Like requisition. Like hey get me. Like send down. You could also just read the command from the stratagem list to get what you want if you forget them. Like fire mission orbital precision strike. Even though you could just go fire mission orbital precision. And then we have some special commands that aren't really in the game as single entities, like Prairie Fire. On my position, Prairie Fire. Confirmed. Your sacrifice to democracy is witnessed. Which calls for the Eagle Napalm stratagem and then automatically clicks your mouse for you to throw the thing immediately. Auto run for those pesky hikes across the map when you really want a sip of liberty instead of holding down those W and shift buttons. <sighs> Jesus. 
at this time there are a little over a hundred commands in there and that comes out to about a little over a thousand possible phrases that you can use if you like now I realize that number sounds stupid but you aren't supposed to learn them all the intent is to make it easier for you to guess how an order could be phrased based on just what the stratagem is naming game most of those phrases are variation on the same command and usually you end up just using a handful anyway that suit your playstyle. So speaking the orders to the computer becomes natural quite quickly. Other than the stratagems, there are some regular commands that I find useful. These do not require one of the two prefixes, but just straight up voice commands that do a single key press that might be forgotten or maybe it's awkward to use. Calling them usually isn't fatal if activated accidentally, like map zoom in or salute. But I do suggest you use a push to talk for voice tech anyway, so that your character doesn't stop in the middle of something just because you told your buddy in voice chat to reload. Otherwise, just delete or deactivate the offending command. Another thing that push to talk for voice attack lets you do is to have Discord mute you while shouting orders to the computer. That way, your friends won't have to hear that. Just bind the Discord mute button to the same as voice attack push to talk button and you're good to go. Then there are a couple of more advanced profile functions that are pretty neat to have. The most important one is that the profile has two modes for keybinds it can run. The in-game default keybinds, which is how the profile is shipped. It'll work out of the box if your game is set to the default keybind options. The drawback of that is that you cannot call commands while using the WASD keys since you can't press those buttons while voice attack is doing it at the same time. Request help bomb. You'd have to stop completely before giving the command in that case. The other mode solves that double input problem. It uses the arrow keys on your keyboard instead of WASD. It lets you call stratagems while running. Lots of people do this even without voice commands and I cannot recommend it enough. To use this when you get the profile, set the stratagem keybinds in the game settings to arrow keys and then use the voice command voice attack keybind modified. Then voice attack will match your new keybind setting in the game. The profile can play audio so you know that it's working in the background. Fire mission, orbital laser. Useful if you cannot see the voice attack window on a second monitor or so. By default it makes itself heard with short bleeps and bloops and those can be turned off or on with the command Voice attack feedback beep off. Voice attack feedback beep on. It can also do some spoken feedback using Windows built-in text-to-speech. Voice attack, spoken feedback on. Order voice attack, spoken feedback on acknowledged. That will dynamically form short confirmation sentences telling you what the commands do. Request supplies. Order request supplies acknowledged. That is turned off by default because it can get quite annoying. Voice attack, spoken feedback, off. You also have an option to tweak how fast the commands are running. That is especially helpful if your PC is struggling and the keyboard presses are coming in too fast for the game to register. Voice attack, slow. Request supplies. If you have good FPS and the input lag is low, you can go the other direction and make the profile faster than its factory setting with the command Voice attack fast. Request supplies. It will make things feel snappier at the risk of having commands fail. All settings are stored in your profile between sessions so you do not have to set them up again every time you sit down to play. And if you get lost, all profile settings can be reset to default using the command voice attack reset. There is more stuff, but I recommend looking in the profile to see what commands are available and absolutely change the spoken phrases to what you find easy to remember or fun to use. 
It's quite possible that between this video getting posted and you seeing this, some command phrases have gotten changed, so fair warning. The release folder linked below also contains a current list of commands that you can use as a cheat sheet. The application voice attack can be found on Steam. It is also on voiceattack.com if you prefer a slightly cheaper non-Steam version. I use it for tons of sim games and applications in different ways and it has paid for itself over and over in my case. I have used quite a few programs like this, but this is the one I can recommend without reservations. Windows Speech though, which is what these sorts of programs rely on, only support a small number of languages. So be sure to look up how to install and get Windows Speech to work on your system before you spend any money. But the free version of Voice Attack is quite enough to build a profile of up to 20 commands. Absolutely enough for playing Helldivers 2 successfully with your favorite stratagems and actions. I have prepared a profile like that which is very simple to get into and edit that will let you have a good few stratagems in your arsenal by making your own ones. It's a good place to start. Note that it does not have any of the request and fire mission prefixes. Just put the commands in there as you want to say them. You will find it in the description among the releases along with the main profile and an instruction on how to install and use it. Since the free version of Voice Attack only supports the one profile that is hard coded into it, you will have to remove the existing commands and import those from Hellbabble's Lite directly. The full version will let you import entire profile files, but for now we have to settle for importing individual commands. From the Voice Attack main window, click the Edit Profile button, delete all existing commands, click the button Import Commands, select the Hellbabbles VAP file you downloaded from the Release folder, make sure all are selected and click Import. To make sure the profile loads properly with all its functionality, we will need to make it auto-run the initialization command. So go into options here and to the second tab called profile exec. Check the box for execute a command each time this profile is loaded and select F underscore in it from the drop down. Now restart voice attack. I recommend to run it as administrator every time. You should now see this. If you are using arrow keys for stratagems in the game, say the command voice attack keybind modified to turn that setting on. Whereas I'm doing in this case on another PC without a mic, just execute it manually. Now you can make your own stuff. If you have too many commands for your free version of voice attack, we'll have to delete some of these existing ones to make room. Leave these alone though. Right click one of the existing commands and select duplicate. That way you get a window to create your new command with all the stuff you only need to change. Look in the command list link below or in the game for what sequence of directions you need for any stratagem you want a voice command for in voice attack. Copy, paste, move around and delete the existing ones here until you have what you need. If you are missing a direction, simply double click one of them and use the drop down to select the one you need. Save and close with OK and click Done. Then go and test your creation for spreading liberty and democracy with the satisfaction of getting to yell it at the game. Well, that's all I got at the moment. Stay cool and keep warm, Helldivers.